welcome back to my little channel and yes as you can see the forest is out so we're going to talk about the environment or rather global warming because as everyone will always tell you 99 percent no not 99 97 percent of all scientists agree now obviously that's not true but they keep saying it and there's another thing that they always keep saying the science is settled i never understood that one to be honest because science as far as i know is always open to be proven wrong and therewith it is not settled but then someone in my a discord was kind enough to give me the link to the following article paulo costa thank you very much it's uh it's always fun to see stuff like this the link by the way will be provided downstairs okay so what am i talking about well this is the article i'm talking about unexpected ice Sea ice in the Southern Ocean defies predictions. Now, the whole global climate change man-made narrative is based on the fact that we can make predictions and those predictions show a certain, I don't know, terrible outcome. And it's all man-made, obviously. And then there is this. There are things that defy predictions now the thing with defying is that you are, you stand up and, and be aggressive or something but i don't think that nature defies anything it, it's it's not a cognitive thing nature doesn't have a mind of its own so to speak but let's let's continue as you see i've already out, outlined it in blue if earth temperature are getting warmer and sea ice in the arctic has been shrinking fast why then is sea ice in the antarctic slowly increasing now to me this is a very interesting question but obviously that question in itself will not immediately be answered because eh, who says it's true yeah but reason for this or reason for that the thing is, though, it's not me saying it. I mean, the researcher we're talking about is a dude that has been, um, how do you call it, published a few times. What was his name? Paul Holland, a climate modeler with the British Antarctic Survey. Um, yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not, you know, someone like me who's a YouTuber with an opinion. In all fairness, my opinion is based on what I hear other people say. And, and he's one of those other people. And the funny thing is, he is part of the whole network of people who's telling us how we are changing the climate and how it's all our fault. But then it defies predictions. Well, that sounds all good and well, but what does that mean? Well, I mean... It kind of means that they don't know what they're talking about. According to climate models, rising global temperature should cause sea ice in both regions to shrink. But observations show that ice extents in the Arctic has shrunk faster than the model predicted. And in the Antarctic, it has been growing slightly. Researchers are looking much closer at Antarctica saying, Wait, what's going on down there? Holland is one of those intrigued. So, funny enough, this, to me, kind of gives me a good feeling. If nothing else, it shows that there are still scientists out there that are willing and, and brave enough to go against the narrative, even though they are only going against the narrative in the margin because at no point is he saying global warming isn't happening he's merely saying 
Well, the way we said it is happening. Yeah, that's not really what's going on. I mean, the next image I'm going to give you. To Holland, the discrepancy calls parts of the climate models into questions. Modeling groups from around the world collaborate on the coupled model intercomparison project phase or SIMP. SMIP, sorry, five, because there's been a few, which simulates Earth climate and predicts how it will change in the near future. And world leaders and policymakers rely on it to decide how much countries should limit carbon emissions, known to cause some aspects of climate change. So he's still going to hang on to the, well, no, yeah, 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 carbon emissions, climate change, yeah, yeah, yeah. But wait a second, um, the predictions are off. And if the models that we base the whole thing on, that we need to pay more climate change money because CO2 is such a problem and blah, 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 blah. And it's wrong at a very basic of levels, because let's be honest, if the world is indeed warming, how come those two ice caps are indeed not melting. It begs the question, what else in these models isn't up to speed? Because it would seem there is quite a bit of it not up to speed. But the, far be it from me to tell you what the truth is. I'm not a scientist. I don't know. But they don't know either. Yeah, but that's not fair. I mean, you're blaming them for recognizing that they might be wrong. And no, no, the thing is, I'm not blaming him. I, I applaud Mr. Holland. I really do, because he's standing up and saying, oh, wait a second, we're being pushed in a certain narrative. But in all fairness, that narrative can't fit because one of the most basic aspects of that is the melting of the ice caps. And it's not happening as we've predicted. It's not nearly almost not happening as we predicted. No, no, it's not happening at all as we predicted. Now, you could say, you know, within a margin of error, it, it, it melts X fast, it, it melts Y fast. No, no, one of them is melting a lot faster and the other one isn't melting at all. Therefore, the models we are still using even after he's decided to let people know, wait a second, this isn't as we thought it would be. These models are false. But don't you worry. Um, you're welcome to pay more taxes. It's a good thing, don't you know? No, obviously it's not a good thing. But yeah, the whole let's pay taxes because um, it might harm our society if we don't kind of shows you how wrong it really is but don't don't take my word for it no no one study paradoxically suggests that the ocean warming and enhanced melting of the antarctic ice sheet is causing the small but statistically significant sea ice expansion in the region whilst another study suggests that rain caused by a warmer climate has been causing an influx of fresh water into the Southern Ocean, making it less dense, less salt, and inhibiting oceanic heat from reaching sea ice in the Antarctic. And yet, those two things are quite opposite of one another, and they can't agree on that. If something as, as basic as the melting, or indeed growing of ice, cannot be answered basically explained within those climate models and 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 these are the things that we can m most easily measure then how can we say all the other stuff they're telling us is true now don't get me wrong i don't know the answers either i'm not a climate expert i merely read the stuff that they publish and I, again, applaud Mr. Paul Holland because he's sticking his neck out. He's going against the grain. And it might not 
always be a negative thing, but I wonder how positive the world will see him. I wonder how much the climate change uh, organization IPC, I can't remember the name, how much they will appreciate Mr. Holland going against the grain. Obviously, it's not a conspiracy theory. He's not going to get whacked for it. But it once again shows that no, not 79% of scientists agree, which isn't quite explained in this video. But no, on the second one, quite clearly, the science is not settled. Anyway, criticism as always is more than welcome. Like, share and subscribe if you feel so inclined. And let me know what you think. Where am I wrong? Where am I right? Why? And I hope to see you all next time.